My name is Aurora James. I'm the creative director and founder of the accessories brand Brother Vellies, and I'm also the founder of the nonprofit The 15% Pledge. So to get to the beginning of Brother Bellies, you really have to go all the way back to 2013. I actually launched it with just $3,500 at a flea market in the Lower East Side of Manhattan. But the most amazing part actually happened a little bit before then when I was traveling all across Africa and really falling in love with a bunch of different artisans who were all making shoes that were traditional to them and their culture. Brother Bellies is a really special brand. First of all, I have to say I am the only black American designer to win a CFDA award, which is a pretty big deal in my industry. And, you know, representation really matters. And I think for me, growing up in the fashion industry, I didn't see a lot of um, designers that looked like me. I didn't see a lot of women at all, but I especially didn't see any that looked like me. It is pretty uh, limited, but it's getting better. I have to say, I am most proud of our very first design, which is the Veli. And a lot of people don't know this, but the, the Veli, which in South Africa is actually pronounced Feli or Felskoon, uh, is a very early shoe shape that was born in Southern Africa. And that was really the first shoe that I fell in love with that led me on the path to creating Brother Bellies. And it's still, I have to say, it's hard to pick a favorite, but it's still my favorite. The 15% Pledge is a call to action for major retailers to commit 15% of their shelf space to Black-owned businesses across the country. I launched it in the wake of George Floyd's murder by uh, putting a simple ask on Instagram and saying, this is what you could do for us, and explaining the proposition of 15% of the shelf spaces going to Black-owned businesses across this country. And I tagged a bunch of major retailers. Within 10 days of making that post, Sephora became the first major retailer to commit to the 15% pledge. And since then, in just two short years, we have announced over 28 pledge takers. And we, through contractual commitments, are now in the process of moving over $10 billion to Black-owned businesses across this country. And that's billion with a B. We're talking big, big impact here. I love working with women who really just have their own sense of self locked down, right? Someone like Zendaya, someone like Beyonce, Kelsey Liu. It's really inspiring to see these women put Brother Bellies on and really make the collection come to life in a whole different way. Um, I've collaborated a lot with Solange Knowles, who I love dearly, and making special things for her is incredible. Um, also some politicians, which is also really fascinating thing to do, right? Because it's about bringing their message alive into the forefront of things. And I think for me, it's really all about empowering women to be the best versions of themselves. And I have to say, fashion for so long has sold products to women by trying to make them feel bad, right? You've been looking at these advertisements your whole life that just tell you you're not tall enough or thin enough or blonde enough. And I think for me, I really want to inspire customers when they're feeling their, you know, best and most proud and accomplished, like that's the moment that I want them to be like, okay, I want to buy a pair of Brother Bellies. I don't want to make them feel bad in order to kind of inspire them to shop then. Hmm, what's my biggest achievement? Honestly, this year I would have to say getting an award from Michelle Obama's organization When We All Vote was pretty up there. It's always, you know, a really great 360 moment to work on something that's made in a place like Ethiopia or Kenya with women who in a lot of cases are at their first ever job creating something for Brother Valleys. And then to see that go, you know, from a tiny workshop in Kenya to a shelf at Saks Fifth Avenue is so powerful, so rewarding, so beautiful. Um, one of the best feelings.